She found out who did it, and she came here to thank us. Now, now, Mary. Men, something big has happened in our precinct. It's so fantastic. Mary, tell it to them in your own words. <laughs> Mary is trying to tell you is this. Right here in our precinct, there's been a million dollar robbery. It was as much of a shock to me as it's going to be to you to find out that Mary was a millionaireess. She had all of her money, over a million dollars, stuffed in her old furniture. Boys were up against a clever gang. Somehow they found out. And in a daring daylight robbery, looted every stick of Mary's furniture and replaced it with some cheap new stuff. Men, until we catch this gang who stole this poor old woman's million dollars, there are going to be no vacations, no time off. All right, you've got all of the facts. Are there any questions? Muldoon? Did the gang leave any clues? No. <laughs> any fingerprints? <laughs> Footprints? Nothing, anything that was there was smudged and trampled. In other words, you don't know anything about this gang of thieves? Nothing except for one thing. They have a sense of humor. They left her this, one dollar. Men, from now on, this precinct has but one objective. Track down this gang. Find poor Mary's million dollars and make those thieves pay for what they've done. Dismissed. Wait. Where are you going? To find my money. Well, that's our business. It's in the hands of my department. Some police department. We'll get your money back in 24 hours. 24 hours? For 30 years, you haven't even been able to make me buy a peddler's license. And you're going to get my money? Now, Mary. If that money's to be found, I'll find it myself. Now, wait, Mary. I've got every one of my men on it. Don't you worry. A million dollars, and he tells me not to worry. Do you know how much a million dollars is? 30 million pretzels. <laughs> The stuff we took out of that shack. Yeah, what'd you do with it? Where is it? Oh, that stuff. What a time I had getting rid of it. You got rid of it? It wasn't easy. That stuff is made in a dump. Murder? Yeah, it's that kind of in-between stuff. He's too old to sell for junk and not old enough for Jackie Kennedy to put in the White House. <laughs> Give me a nice, dirty old day bag. Mr. Carter, what did you do with it? I did what I do whenever I got a junky junk. I got the pig to take it off my hands. The pig? Yeah, he's got a junkyard. He takes anything. Where does he live? Uh, in his junkyard. <laughs> on the corner of... Oh, let's see. On the corner of the right internet place and the Busey Boulevard. You got that, boys? Come on, let's go! <laughs> What do you mean, junk? I resent that. I deal in unwanted merchandise. All right, Mr. Connoisseur. The unwanted merchandise that Mr. Carter, the junk man, dumped here is now wanted. We want it. You're too late. Too late? That's right. I gave it away. Who did you give it to? A guy I met in the Mandalay Lounge. Mandalay Lounge? That's right. A guy who was embarking on a new career. Was his name Charlie? That's right. Quick, where's he staying? He ran an unfinished room. It's upstairs over the Atlantic Bar and Grill. Upstairs over the Atlantic Bar and Grill. Thanks, Pig. Come on, let's go. Of course I'm sober. Stone sober. And that's the way it's gonna be from now on. I'm gonna make you boys proud of me. That's wonderful. Ain't it, fellas? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Say, let's celebrate. Let's take Charlie out and buy him a pizza. Oh, no. I'm not leaving this room. You're not? Downstairs is the Atlantic Bar and Grill. Across the street is the Mandalay Lounge. Down the street is the Ace of Spades Bar and Grill. Out there is temptation. Here I'm safe, right here on this lumpy mattress. <laughs> but Charlie, we'll be with you. We'll get you by that Atlantic Bar and Grill. <laughs> the Atlantic Bar, that ain't the one I'm worried about. They give you shots like that. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> oh, glass. It's that Mandalay Lounge that I'm worried about. They give me a shot like that. Boom! And for every three shots you buy, boom, 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 the bartender buys you a shot for nothing. Boom! Charlie. 
Let's give it a try. Good boy. <laughs> you guys are all right. You guys are all right. You that you're not tempted. Mind your own business. Look, Charlie. There's nothing I hate worse than nosy cops. Who leaves? <laughs> Johnson, I'll wait here for you. You fellas take him down. Nobody has to take me. <laughs> Come on. Let's get this stuff out of here. Hurry. What's the hurry? They gotta pass four bars before they get to that pizza joint. We got all night. Come on, come on, come on. Maybe this time she's going to thank us. <laughs> you say you stuffed your money in the new furniture? They took it away and brought back your old furniture? Well, don't you worry. We'll get it back. Ma'am? And so, fellas, I want to thank you. Not for returning my money, but for teaching me a lesson. Money means nothing unless it's shared and brings happiness. Well, you sure shared it, Mary. Quarter of a million to that orphanage, the money to the Police Athletic League, every charity in the Bronx. It's just money. Money means nothing. Ah, here comes your chauffeur. Ah, Charles. Where to today, ma'am? <laughs> the usual. Bless you, boys, bless you. Scout troops or a child cruise ships to an idle wild. Car 54. 